there. I'm Sandy Alnock. I'm a Bible journaler here on YouTube, and I'm sharing the fourth in my Advent series for 2017 on hope, peace, joy, and love. And I hope you've been enjoying this. I've been enjoying bringing it to you. And today we're going to talk about love. You're encouraged to share your own pages on my Facebook page. Look for the picture of the page that I'm creating in this video and leave yours in the comments below that. I'd love to see a picture of it and then tell us what you're learning about love. Tell us why you're grateful for God's love. Tell us what your pastor said about love, whatever you'd like to share. And during Christmas week, this is a perfect time to meditate on the love of God. So I've got my fourth banner. I've been using banners all these four weeks. And if you need to know how to make a banner, there's instructions in the first video in the series. And I'm going to work on an, a verse that's not a typical Christmas verse. Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only Son into the world that we might live through him. This is all from 1 John, which is not something usually chosen for a Christmas verse, but it's where God took me when I started praying about what to do for this love week. So I'm tracing my letters from my template into my Bible, and then I'm going to create a manger up on top of this, and the banner is going to be hanging down from my scene that I'm creating in the top section, and I'll show you how to make a really easy manger. I'm just kind of splooging on some yellow colored pencil first and letting it kind of hang down there and feather out and before i go further i decided i was going to jump in and work on the banner itself and since it is christmas time i thought i'd use your traditional christmas colors and use red for the word love and then i'll use green for the banner itself so that i have a, a real christmasy looking page and this will also remind me, and I'll, I'll be putting dates on each of these, that I did this as a, an Advent devotional as I was preparing for Christmas. So whenever I see it, then it will bring back memories of this particular Christmas season. Because every Christmas season feels a little different, I think, at least to me it does. And when I journal through that, I often have emotions associated with what I was Bible journaling during that time. And I know where my heart is right now as I'm creating this video. And I hope it will bring that back because I really am overwhelmed with the love of God. And that we are born of him. We are born of his love. He created us because he loves us. He, he's all about love. And that is not an easy thing to remember sometimes in this world that is not about love. So that, that is where he's kind of had my heart meditating on. And I'm taking some brown colors to add to my, my little hay in the manger. And I, I want you to not panic before we get to the baby because I'm gonna show you an easy way to draw the baby and put the baby in here. You don't have to be a fancy artist to do Bible journey. That's one of my, my things that I bring you here on YouTube is hopefully Everybody can do this. You don't have to be a trained artist. That's what I am, but you don't have to be in order to get a lot out of Bible journaling. So adding a, more of a reddish brown to it. So I have a couple different colors and now I'm gonna take my pencil. I'm gonna draw kind of a lumpy thing for the, the swaddling clothes and then the face. Now you could draw just an arc for the face, make it very stylized. And if you color it flesh colored and you have the white blanket around the baby, everybody's going to think it's the baby Jesus because it's Christmas colors. It's got the hay and it's got the blanket and the face. So you really don't need much of anything to communicate the baby Jesus in a manger on something like this. It's very simple to do. You could also switch this up and do the baby at the bottom. And the manger at the bottom you could add animals to it you can do all kinds of things to make a specifically christmas oriented type of page and i'm just going to put some blue color above it because the blanket will look white next to blue so as long as there's some other color there 
and I'm doing some darker blue and lighter blue. I put a piece of paper under it just so that my pencil doesn't go down the side of my Bible as I'm coloring. Just a little scratch paper under there. And with my pencils, I like them really sharp, so I have a fancy pencil sharpener that I use, but you can use a little hand crank one or whatever you'd like. You also don't have to use the same mediums that I'm using. Anytime you use one of my sketches or my ideas or one of my videos as an inspiration for what you're creating, go ahead and do it in whatever your favorite medium is. Doing something like this in watercolor would be quite beautiful. There's just different techniques you'll have to apply to make certain things work, but by all means, do your own version because that's what Bible journaling is. It's your interpretation of what God's telling you. And that's one of the reasons why I was really doing a deeper study on love to ask God what verse he wanted me to journal instead of, you know, I, my heart wanted to do John 3.16 because that's the love verse. But there's also this one and there's also so many others. And you can do a Christmas meditation on any verses at all, any of the love verses. Because God is about love, that baby bringing his son to this earth and putting him through what we know the human experience is. Why he would do that for us can only be explained by love. And being born of, of his love is the only thing that keeps me alive nowadays sometimes, I think. So love is from God. That is the only place it comes from. And if I, if I ever lose hope in that, then I think I'm doomed. I think I'd be in big trouble. So my final touch is to add a little bit of sketchy lines to what I've drawn here. I like to add the lines afterward because then I'm not trying to color within them and I can adjust shapes and things as I do my colored pencil coloring. And then I kind of know where, where is the top of the hay and where is the face going to be and do I want it to be just a lump of a face and a suggestion of a baby or do I want it to be a face with a nose on it? And I opted for just a little tiny bit of a face, facial outline on mine. But I hope that you will share your love page over on my Facebook. There's a clickable link in the description down below. I'd love to see what you're creating. Go see what everyone else is doing as well during the week. And I'll see you again one more time in 2017 because we have one more Sunday coming our way. God bless you.